Hey guys, my name is Niwa and I'm a new commentary channel on YouTube. I'm making this channel just because of the circumstances around and I've always enjoyed the commentary community. I figure now is the perfect time to do so just because of quarantine. I have school at home and it's kind of difficult for me to see friends and family. So I figured once again, perfect time and what better day to start it than now. Um, I would say my content in the future is just going to be like pretty chill, laid back videos, like just commentating current events, uh, pretty widespread, uh, just because this first episode is going to be on a sports incident, doesn't mean that every video is going to be about sports. And if there are certain things you'd like me to talk about, please leave in the comments, and as well as gameplay. For this, I'm just using some Minecraft block party gameplay. Um, currently, it's kind of tough for me to do other games besides Minecraft, uh, just because my computer is kind of shit. But we'll do it if there are certain things you want me to do, survival world, creative world, or just other server games, just please let me know, and I'll try to do so. Um, let's talk about Novak Djokovic and the U.S. Open and his defaulting incident. Um, so Novak Djokovic was playing against Pablo Carreno Busta in the U.S. Open, and after losing a set, he was going back to his chair, um, hit the ball back at the line judge to, so she could technically just get it and then get new balls for the next set. But unfortunately, he hit the ball straight into her neck. Uh, I watched the video a few times, and based on it, it seems like it was intentional. He wasn't looking. Um, if he was able to do that intentionally, that's honestly kind of impressive, but kind of a dick move. Um, but... It just shows that it's better safe than sorry. That's the life lesson of my first video, or this video, actually. Better safe than sorry. Um, he could have taken the extra second or two just to turn around, just volley the ball off his racket, just gently so she can get the ball without any incident, or just literally just bowling ball the ball down the court. Um, it just was kind of uncalled for, and not the smartest idea to do so. I'd also say just... I know people were a little upset saying overreacting from the judge or the umpire, excuse me, but I mean, it's kind of tough. It's not my call or their call, but the umpire's call, they believe that it was warranted to a default. And what a default means for non-tennis fans or you don't know, basically that you got to forfeit the match, you don't have a choice. So he exited the U.S. Open without anything. Um, and fortunately, this U.S. Open was going to be relatively easy compared to his other U.S. Open victories because Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer were not participating this year. But once again, the message is that better safe than sorry. Novak Djokovic could have easily avoided this situation by just volleying the ball, rolling the ball, um, or many other ways. Also, I understand he was upset by an unfortunate point. But it's better to take out your anger on yourself than others, or potentially others. I understand it might have been by accident, or I think, or believe by accident, but just to be safe, take it on yourself. Um, I know Novak Djokovic has had some, I guess, I don't want to say anger management, but anger outbursts, where he's broken a racket or yelled at an umpire. Um, so I think a better alternative could have been breaking the racket, because the odds of hurting someone while breaking your own racket are much lower and you're hurting your own property instead of someone else or someone else's property. But once again, if you get angry or something like this, talk to someone, figure out why you're getting angry or how you can fix it. Um, unfortunately for him, it's kind of tough just because he is the number one ranked tennis player in the world and it's very annoying to get frustrated by this. But it's really unfortunate to see that he couldn't do it, that his emotions got the best of him and unfortunately bad luck and many other factors kind of effed him um in the future i think he knows now after making this mistake that he should not do this again um he should not volley the ball backwards without looking he should take his time or get frustrated out himself instead of taking out his frustration on other people i think the best way that he could have dissolved this situation was going to his chair and just thinking, or just sitting on the chair, just put his towel on the face, put his face in the towel, excuse me, 
and just kind of scream or do something. Um, it's kind of honestly kind of bad look for tennis that, that just happened and a bad look for his image, especially that he's been dominating, dominating recently. And I think that broke his 26 match win streak by defaulting, by hitting a line judge and for his image, unfortunately this incident will taunt him for the rest of his life. And he basically can't avoid it. And also I was reading that because of this, he basically didn't talk to any media and no press. He just avoided everything. So it's going to be interesting to see what his follow-up, I guess, apology or statement will be later. So maybe we'll cover that as well. But thank you guys for listening to this video. Once again, a pause rate would be appreciated. And please leave any game suggestions or current event suggestions in the comments below. Thank you very much and have a good day.